Today we're doing a Christmas apartment tour, which I am so, so excited about. Last year we moved into this apartment like a week before Christmas, so we didn't really have time to like totally deck the halls. Um, so this year I went a little bit crazy and it's very festive in here and I'm really excited to show you guys. So we're gonna start at the front door. So starting here at our front door, I have this super cute wreath from Michael's and a very, very dirty baby it's cold outside mat. And this cute little Santa who's like tin roof material. I like him because he's uh, fine to stay outside. So just kind of welcomes you at the door. Then you walk in. Hi. <laughs> and you've got this super cute little window pane wreath thing that was a DIY. So I'll link it if you guys want to see it. And a little Santa guy. And then up here on our shelf, we have a little snowman. Then not much has changed in this hallway except this little like soldier dude. Um, but we've still got all our botanical prints, my favorite shelf, which I still haven't really styled. But there is this cute little snowman here and this really pretty candle um, tray wick cutter um, set that Lume gifted me, which is so pretty. Then you go left here and this is Matt and I's bedroom. So this is what you see when you enter the bedroom. Our bed is nice and festive, which I really, really love. We have these flannel sheets from Target, which are so cute and Christmassy. And then these two pillows, I think they're actually both also from Target from a couple of years ago. And this super cute little sweater blanket. Um, I believe that's from TJ Maxx. Not too much else in this room has changed. It's pretty much the same setup. Um, as it always is, but I think that adds a nice little festive touch. There's me. Hi. <laughs> Hi, honey girls. What you doing? Is mommy talking to herself? Is it a little weird? Hi, girls. Merry Christmas. Oh, bunny kisses right under the mistletoe. I put this little mistletoe uh, bunch from Trader Joe's up here so that Matt has to kiss me all the time. <laughs> Our guest bathroom has gotten pretty dang festive. So I swapped out the rattan tray that's normally here for this season's greetings tray. And I have a little ginger cookie candle in it from Michael's. We've got our cute little snowman soap dispenser. And then I also swapped out all the towels. So the hand towels got these little embroidered gingerbread man and woman on it, which is so cute. And then the like big towel setup is again, like embroidered and I layered a few on top of each other just cause I thought it was cute. We've got a few DIY decorations in this hallway. So first of all is this dried blood orange garland that I made. Um, this was actually a TikTok DIY. If you guys don't know, I work with TikTok. Um, so I post a video on there pretty much every day if you wanna follow me. And then over here, it's kind of hard to see because this hallway is small so I can't get super far away, but we have this joy sign. And this is a DIY that I did on my channel last year for Christmas. So again, I'll link it if you want to see it. It is pretty cute. As usual, this living room area and then our kitchen is probably the most festive part of the house. Poppy, are you eating the tree? No, no. Very, very naughty bunnies keep trying to eat our tree. So now I need to go deal with that. So I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so I'll start over here with our little festive record player station. We've got the uh, Carpenter's Christmas album all loaded and ready to go. We listen to it a lot. Um, a little Santa. I actually think he's a wine bottle holder, but I think he's really cute, so he stays up there. Um, and then some little Christmas stuffed animals down here. And then I have this like faux rattan outdoor chair that I thrifted from Goodwill a really long time ago. And I just covered the seat in a little sheepskin rug from Ikea. And then I have these two Christmassy H&M pillow covers on here, which I think are so cute and festive. Then we have our TV area. We pretty much always have this like fake fireplace going because we don't have a real fireplace, um, but this is still pretty cozy. And then down here we have a little garland and this Noel um, sign that's like marble and wood and gold. And then this super cute little gingham deer, which I love. And that brings us over to our tree, which we are affectionately calling Fat Boy for obvious reasons, because it's so chunky. 
We've got my favorite glittery driftwood star on the top and all of our favorite ornaments. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of Disney ornaments. <laughs> and then rather than opting for a tree skirt this year, I actually just took a bunch of white chiffon and kind of lumped it around the bottom. And I think it looks nicer because the tree skirt we have is like red felt and it's not super cute. I really want to get one of those like rattan tree collars. Those are so pretty. We've got a festive little coffee table here with a Christmas candle and Tanya Burr's Christmas book and the winter edition of the Magnolia Journal down here. And then our couches have this cute little snowman Christmas pillow and then some Christmas blankets. So we've got this one. And then over here on this other couch, we have this one, which my grandma actually made. And it's so, so pretty and the coziest thing ever. If you're watching this, thank you, grandma. We use this all the time. It's my favorite ever. Then we have a little um, like Christmassy section over here as well. Um, Matt and I have our stockings up and no, the A is not a pregnancy announcement. <laughs> it's for my best friend, Annalise, who spent Christmas with us last year. So we bought the stocking for her and I thought I'd just put it up this year anyway because it looked better with three we've got some fake poinsettias in this thrifted magnolia vase and a little christmas day countdown and i let matt pick the quote for the letter board so he came up with this die hard quote which actually i think is supposed to be now i have a machine gun ho 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 but whatever <laughs> Then this is our kitchen table, and I kind of went ham on this this year. I got this real garland from Trader Joe's, which smells so, so good. Um, and I put some little ornaments in it, and then we have all kinds of various like tea lights and candles and other little accessories. And in the middle, I put this really pretty speckled poinsettia in a thrifted basket. And then it's basically just mirrored on the other side with similar items. Then for our kitchen, which might be my favorite part of the house, um, over here, I really wanna find a way to make this cork jar look more festive, um, but it's got all of the corks from all of the bottles of wine that Matt and I have opened since we got married. Um, I do have this little Christmas candle, again, from Magnolia. There's a lot of Magnolia stuff in my house right now, um, and it's got the wood wick, so it burns, um, and it like crackles, which is really fun. We have our little Anko tin santa and reindeer which i think are so cute and then i put this little wreath around our google home then up here on our shelving on the top we have another little gingham deer um, and a happy holiday sign and then a bottle brush tree and this little santa which just looks like the happiest little santa ever if you guys didn't see the video where i diy'd this like knockoff rattle roller for like four dollars with stuff that i got at the thrift store um you should definitely go watch it because it's super fun and i love changing out the design seasonally right now it says have a holly jolly christmas um and i just did that with a little sharpie and then it has the cutest little felt penguin garland from handcrafted buffalo which is so so cute got some crispy cream donuts on the stove holiday must um our little very dirty Christmas spoon rest. That needs to get washed. In fact, I'm just gonna put that in the sink. We have a little Santa. He lights up, but he's a little temperamental, so you kind of have to like <laughs> hold him. And then of course, I have some Christmas towels and oven mitts. Uh, this one is the prettiest. It's like a little watercolor Christmas house. Um, and again, <laughs> it's Magnolia. And then on the other side, I've got this gingerbread one that I got in London. I really like the way the kitchen and the dining room look together they're so cute all right so that's it for this christmas apartment tour i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i hope you guys have the best rest of your day and i'll see you all in my next video bye Christmas memory